Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos on analyzing the Keynesian cross. In this video we're going to look at how to calculate the marginal propensity to consume. All right, uh, just a fair word of warning, you really have to have a fair amount of background in Keynesian fiscal policy and the multiplier, etc. to understand what you're going to see here. These videos will not teach the theory, but they will help firm up how we use it in certain circumstances. All right, <clears throat> so if we wanted to determine the marginal propensity to consume based on this simple depiction of a Keynesian cross, we could do it. We just have a little uh, bit of work to do, and you'd have to see some things that are implicit in the diagram. So the first thing to take note of is we are given the autonomous expenditure. That's very important. So at zero dollars of real GDP, this economy spends nonetheless $450. Now as GDP increases and therefore income increases, consumption increases, driving aggregate de demand up to this point. Now what is that point? It's equilibrium, but we don't really see what the level of aggregate expenditure is. Or do we? The fact is, we know that at that point and that point only where the aggregate demand curve crosses the 45 degree line, then aggregate demand must be $600. So knowing that, we have a rise over a run. And here's what I mean. We know that when income increased to $600, spending increased from $450 to $600. And so we have our change in consumption corresponding with our change in income. Our, our consumption increased by $150 when we earned 600 more dollars. And we know that because the slope of the aggregate demand curve or the aggregate expenditure curve, if you want to call it that, is set by the consumption curve. The consumption curve in this model is the only curve that has a slope. So with that, we know that consumption increased by $150 when income increased by $600. And voila, our marginal propensity to consume is 0.25 or 25%, meaning for every dollar we earn, we spend 25 cents. And therefore, don't forget, we save 75 cents. 